Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Shoda and in this video I'm going to teach you three things you can do while you're stuck with this quarantine, while you're stuck under the lockdown at home. Now, if you've been looking around, you probably noticed a lot of things have turned quieter. The earth is actually literally shaking less. There's been a change in the vibrations of the earth because of what's going on around us. It's just it's unbelievable. In addition, it's, scientists have predicted that there'll be a fall in carbon emissions. The, the most significant fall in carbon emissions since World War II. Now we know the world is changing around us and I believe that things will change for a long, long period of time uh, in the sense that we'll actually start changing our behavior and I think we'll start appreciating and adapting differently and I think life will change hopefully for the better and that's what this video is all about. So in the 1940s there was an American psychologist called Abraham Maslow. He actually introduced something called Maslow's hierarchy of need. Now according to Maslow individuals and human beings have three basic needs. One is called the basic need then there's what's called as a psychological need and then finally there's something called a self fulfillment need. So what is a basic need? A basic need is a need for food, water, warmth, safety, security. You want a roof over your head. You want, you want to feel safe. You want to feel that, you know, um, no one's going to come and hurt you. Those are the basic needs. What's a psychological need? It's the feeling of intimacy, not just physical intimacy, but emotional intimacy. It's the feeling of uh, being, feeling wanted, feeling, uh, feeling looked after, having friends, feeling a sense of prestige, feeling a sense of accomplishment. Those are all the psychological needs that we have as human beings. In other words, you want to feel loved, you want to feel appreciated, you want to feel respected, you want to feel looked after, you want to feel recognized, you want to feel valued. Um, you know, whether it's by your friends, by your family, whether it's by your boss, all of those are psychological needs. And then the highest level of needs is something called self-actualization needs. In fact, Maslow referred to that as transcendence, reaching one's full potential, understanding one's mission, understanding what you're here for on this earth. Some would call that spirituality. And Maslow actually, um, you know, within the context of Maslow, words like transcendence have been used. Now, what does all of this have to do with our video here, with our training here on the three things you should do while you're stuck at home. Now, I want you to think about this. This is a time of quiet reflection for most of us. Uh, none of us have been, have been stuck at home, have been isolated, have been secluded for such an extended period of time. So in a situation like this, I believe there are three things that you should do. The first thing is I want you to look within and I want you to tr start to take care of yourself physically. I want you to try and manage yourself physically, manage your physical state. By that I mean drink more water, eat healthy food, try and not eat junk because you know in times of stress it's common for human beings, myself included, to want to eat junk. But try and take care of yourself, try and, uh, try and eat healthy, try and drink lots of water, try and get enough sleep. Try and, try and uh, take care of yourself physically because fundamentally what the human body needs to recover is food, water and sleep. Specifically, healthy food, clean water and enough restful sleep. It varies from one individual to another. So my first bit of advice would be try and take good care of yourself. That comes down to a basic need where we need to take care of ourselves physically so that we can be at our best selves, so that we can hopefully build up our immunity, we can be stronger, more importantly, we can help and take care of others around us. Now that actually leads me to number two, which actually is tied straight to Maslow's, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The second thing is pay it forward. According to Maslow, the self-actualization, the transcendence component, having a mission, that is where this really ties in. I think it'll, it gives us more satisfaction as humans because we are fundamentally social beings. It gives us more satisfaction as humans to actually help each other, to reach out to each other, to connect with each other. Now your form of help could be different. I mean obviously if you're a healthcare worker, your form of help is actually helping dealing with patients. But if you're just someone at home, pick up the phone, you know, call your neighbor, call your friends, call your family and say, listen, I, I know I can't maybe physically come over and 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 you know and give you a high five or something or or give you a hug but at this moment in time i'm here to talk to you whatever you might need i'm here to help you with whatever you might need maybe if i go to the grocery store in fact uh, we've had neighbors in our community say hey i'm going to the grocery store is there something that i can potentially get for you so 
that human component is just so, so important, especially at a time like this, because we as human beings need to come together in this crisis. We need to actually bond and come together and help each other because that's what gives us purpose. That's what gives us meaning. That's what gives us satisfaction. Now, for you, it could be uh, you know some of the examples I said or for you it could be writing an article it could be filming a video like what I'm doing it could be it could be taking pictures and putting it up on your Instagram profile or blog or whatever the case might be find a way to contribute find a way to pay it back find a way to share the burden help other people and and be someone who can be a source of inspiration because what happens during difficult times like these is we are looking to each other for leadership we are looking to each other for compassion we are looking to each other for understanding always be a giver and then you you know people will just reciprocate people will give back to you try not to be someone who who um, just takes but try and be someone who gives and pay it forward and help as much as you can in your own way no you know no n nothing you do is too big or too small but every little bit counts that would be my advice to everyone listening just definitely pay it forward help other individuals there are a lot of individuals who just need someone to talk to you picking up the phone and talking to a friend or a family member or maybe your parents that has a lot of meaning don't just don't just you know send a text message pick up the phone and talk um, those things matter so try and help others even if it's just talking to people on the phone doing some sort of audio visual communication skype facetime call whatever the case might be and reach out to people and and do that in, in fact if you can set up a group call a group facetime call or a group zoom call or something like that that's even better make sure that we help each other that's point number two and point number three is what I call as intellectual stimulation. Uh, at a time like this, a lot of us feel stuck, feel lonely, isolated, secluded. What you need to do is keep your mind sharp. In, in, the, in the first point, I talked about keeping your body uh, healthy. Obviously, uh, some home exercise would be a great idea. But as far as keeping your mind healthy is concerned, read a book, uh, listen to an audio course, learn something new. Don't just uh, don't just sort of keep watching, uh, you know, Netflix or Amazon Prime or something. Uh, try and learn new things. Hopefully, you know, things like you're doing now, watching a video on YouTube on how you can how you can adjust. My my advice would be to expand your mind. This is an excellent time to try and expand your mind. Read a book that you've been meaning to read for a long time. Maybe download an audio book, uh, join an online course, uh, see educational videos on YouTube, perhaps. Um, you know, do something you wouldn't normally do. Um, it could be something as, as significant as trying to learn a new language, learn a new skill, because you have the time to do it right now before things recover, before we get sucked back into the normal routine of day-to-day -day life, which actually doesn't allow us the luxuries of doing simple things like intellectual stimulation. Because during this time, the way you handle yourself will set you up for success, both both mentally and both financially for many, many, many years to come. Because what we're going through is literally, hopefully, a once in a lifetime experience and we should handle ourselves well. We should take care of ourselves physically, we should pay it forward and we should definitely take care of ourselves intellectually. I hope this video was valuable to you. Please hit the subscribe button and if this video is valuable for you, please destroy, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because that's what helps me get the word out. So I hope that this, this video was valuable to you. Please go ahead and click the like button and click the subscribe button. I'll continue to give you more ideas, more, more content on Mind Over Matter. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. I'm so excited that I was able to share this journey with you today. Hopefully, Maslow's Law of Hierarchy and my three principles gave you some value, gave you some content. I'm so appreciative that you watched the video today. And once again, please go ahead and either like or subscribe this video. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much.